In the summer of 2009, Linda Chen, a 32-year-old Swedish woman, went missing without a trace. This is one of the strangest unsolved crimes in Sweden. Every year, about 250,000 people go missing in Sweden, and Linda's loss adds to that scary number. Even though law enforcement and the community have tried very hard, they still do not know what happened to Linda Chen. Hi and welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing, as it helps us motivate to create more intriguing content for you. Let's have a look at the Linda Chen. In 1977, Linda Chen was born in China. She went to Sweden when she was 15 years old. Linda became close to Ida Johansson while she was in a refugee center waiting for her family. Ida became like a mother to Linda. People knew that Linda cared a lot about clothes and music. She was proud of her appearance and liked to do things like sing karaoke. As an adult, Linda had a few relationships that did not work out, and one of them led to the birth of her son. Unfortunately, her first partner beat her up so badly that he was accused of trying to kill her. Linda married twice more, but neither marriage lasted. In the spring of 2008, Linda started meeting Matsalm, a man she met on an online dating site. They were engaged soon after their first date, and their relationship moved quickly from there. Linda helped Mats by giving him money to help pay his bills and even paying for their wedding. She also gave her son a trust fund. Mats was in charge of the money in the fund until he turned 18. On August 5, 2009, Linda Chen went missing in Fallen. Her last known location gives a look into what happened before she went missing. Linda was a waitress, and she had just finished her shift. When she got home, she told her partner, Mats, that she was going to meet a friend later that night. They had no idea that this was the last time they would ever see each other. Linda and Mats chose to go shopping at a nearby store before Linda left her apartment. The store's security cameras caught this trip, so there is proof that Linda was there at that time. It is a key piece of evidence in the case because it gives a clear timeline of what she did before she went missing. After going shopping, Linda and Mats got in their car and drove for about two and a half hours. Their goal was to find places that Linda's family could visit while they were there for their wedding. This drive shows how much the couple is looking forward to and excited about the upcoming party. It also shows how much they want their loved ones to have a great time. When Linda and Mats got home, they ate a meal together, taking their time and enjoying being with each other. After dinner, Linda started getting ready for her night out, probably because she was excited to meet her friend as planned. The details about this friend and why they met are still unknown, which leaves a hole in the story of Linda's last hours. At 9 p.m., Linda said goodbye to Mats and left her flat. They had no idea that it would be the last time they would see each other. The reasons why Linda left and why she ran into her friend afterward are still a mystery since no other sightings or proof have come to light. When no witnesses could back up Matt's story about what happened to Linda after she left their apartment, the cops started to get suspicious. No one could say for sure that they saw the couple come home from the store or that they saw Linda leave her house at 9 p.m. This difference in what witnesses said made Linda's disappearance even more mysterious. Matt's claim that Linda did not change her clothes before going out seemed strange to Linda's family, since she usually liked to get dressed up for social events. Linda was very interested in fashion, so her friends and family found it strange that she did not care as much about how she looked the night she disappeared. These differences added to the rumors and made it hard to believe Matt's story. Investigators and Linda's family members doubted Matt's statements asking if he was hiding important information or could have been involved in her disappearance. As the investigation went on, the cops looked for more clues and proof to find out what happened to Linda. The focus shifted to finding out more about Matt's past, relationships, and possible reasons, trying to find any clues that could help figure out what happened to Linda. The police also worked harder to find possible witnesses who might have seen Linda or talked to her the night she disappeared. Even with all of their hard work, they could not figure out what was going on. 
Linda Chen's disappearance is still one of Sweden's biggest mysteries, and her family and friends are eager for answers and justice. As the cops looked into the case, they became more and more sure that Mats had something to do with it. No one saw the couple come home from shopping, and no one saw them on their long drive either. There were differences between what Matt said and what the records at their wedding reception place said, which made the puzzle even bigger. Even though many people tried to find Linda, no one knew where she was or what had happened to her. Even though Linda's case was still open, strange things kept happening in Matt's home, which added to the mystery and gave detectives more questions. As word got out about Matt's suicide attempt, people began to wonder if there was a link between his actions and Linda's absence. Matt's desperate act happened on the same day he was supposed to meet with the cops. This made people suspicious and raised eyebrows. Investigators looked into his mental health to try to figure out if there was a link between his attempt to kill himself and Linda's disappearance. Did Matt's feel too guilty, or was he keeping a dark secret that drove him to the edge? While Matt's was still in very bad shape at the hospital, the police were in a tough spot. They thought about the chance that Matt's attempt to kill himself was not just a sign of his own sadness, but also a way for him to hide his involvement in Linda's mysterious case. The cops carefully looked at what happened before Matt's suicide attempt to find any clues that could help them figure out what happened to Linda. They talked to people he knew, looked at how he had behaved in the past, and looked for signs of wrongdoing. But no matter how hard they tried, they could not find anything. Matt's critical state made it hard to question him right away or find out what he knew. Together, the unanswered questions about his suicide attempt and Linda's disappearance made a web of mystery and confusion that continued to confuse both the police and the public. Matt said that he could not remember what happened before Linda went missing while he was getting better. He said he was not guilty and had nothing to do with her disappearing. But since there was no hard evidence or leads that led to other possible suspects, the investigation stayed focused on Matt's. People in the community started to think that Matt's was the main candidate because of rumors and speculation. People looked even closer because of online talks and news stories, which made them angry and want justice. People held vigils and rallies in Linda's name to ask the authorities to solve the case and bring peace to her family. Even though the investigation was getting hotter, it did not lead anywhere. The cops had a hard time making real progress because they did not have any physical proof, witnesses, or good leads. Linda Chen seems to have vanished into thin air, leaving detectives and the general public with no idea what happened. The media stopped talking about the case as much as they used to over the years, but Linda's family, friends, and people who are interested in unsolved mysteries never forgot about it. Because no one knew why she had gone missing, the community continued to feel a deep sense of loss and anger. One of Sweden's most strange and puzzling cold cases is still the disappearance of Linda Chen. Even though there have been a lot of studies, Nobody knows where Linda is or why she vanished. The story became even more exciting because Linda's boyfriend at that time, Mats Alm, was suspected of something. But there is no real evidence that he had anything to do with Linda Chen's disappearance, and his attempt to kill himself erased any possible memories. This makes it hard to find out what happened to her. As time goes on, people still want to know what happened to Linda and for the case to stop. It serves as a reminder of the many unsolved secrets that continue to haunt communities around the world and the long-lasting effects they have on the lives of the people left behind. How do you feel about this case? Tell us what you think in the comments section. Also, please like this video and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more strange cases like this. Thanks for watching.